almost cut your ball off. Good morning. Before we get further into this vlog, I did want to mention the sponsor of today's video, which of course is the lovely and amazing Dossier Perfumes. If you guys do not know what Dossier is, they are an online perfume company also available in Walmart. They make designer inspired fragrances at a more than fair price. Get the luxury of a designer inspired fragrance without having to spend the absolute crazy prices at the department store. All of their perfumes Perfumes range from $29 to $39, have scents inspired by Chanel, YSL, Tom Ford, Theri Mugler, you name it, they have it. And the scent that I chose for this month is a scent I don't think I have ever tried before. So when you make your order on Dossier, everything comes in this cute little box right here. And inside, you get a card that tells you all about the scent that you chose. It tells you the notes, the concentration. And the scent that I got this month is Floral Lavender. And this is inspired by the YSL. Sell Libre perfume. I don't think I've ever had this one before and I'm honestly shocked because oh my gosh it smells so so good. This has notes of mandarin, neroli, black currant, jasmine, lavender, orange blossom, vanilla, amber, and musk and this is like this is a perfume that is literally right up my alley. This is like an everyday kind of perfume for me so I'm gonna give it a little spritz. Oh my gosh, yeah, this could very easily become one of my new all-time favorite scents from Dossier, and I'm not just saying that. I have several favorites from them, but this one I think honestly takes number one. The packaging is really sleek and minimalistic, and the top is also a magnet top, so you don't have to worry about perfume spilling. You get a full glass bottle and a 50 milliliter amount of perfume, which is a ton. I am someone who likes to smell good morning, noon, and night. I always have perfume on me. I always wear Dossier. Every time I go out, I always get compliments about how good I smell. This one, I can't even describe it to you guys. Like, I'm definitely, definitely gonna get more of these because this one is really, really good. If any of you guys are interested in checking out Dossier and finding your new favorite scent, go ahead and check out the link in the description box. All of the information and everything will be down there. If you do get your Dossier perfume and you decide that you don't like it and you wanna try something different, head on over to their website, print out a shipping label from the return section and mail everything back, no questions asked, but I highly doubt that's gonna happen because they have so many good scents on there. Thank Thank you so much to Dossier for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back into the rest of this vlog. Sure. Wow, that's a big one. Oh, their shirts. Their shirts. Hey guys, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Here's Michael. That is cool. Do they have a choker? Are you holding it this way or up? Wow, you got a huge neck. It's like, like it, yeah, <laughs> I was just gonna say that. I mean, we could like.
Hey guys, and welcome back to another vlog. I think I already 
technically started this vlog. I did, yes. So I started this vlog by working on my car and then I added some clips from this past weekend when we went out bowling, which was a lot of fun. I really suck at bowling. I'm pretty bad at it. So I needed like the bumpers up and everything. It was, it was embarrassing, but it was still a lot of fun. I did win one game, but with the bumpers, I feel like I kind of cheated. Now I'm just at home and I have to get some stuff done around the house. My boyfriend is not here right now. He is currently working on his car because we had a little bit of an incident. I think it was like a week ago now, we got a ton of rain. Like it was just like torrential downpour. And for whatever reason, the streets in my area, none of the storm drains were working. So all of the streets were flooded. Well, my boyfriend thought it would be a good idea to try to go around the back of a store and try to drive through the the puddles, okay, what he thought were puddles. It was not a puddle, okay? It was like over a foot and a half deep of rainwater that just would not go down the drain and his car completely flooded out. It died. The whole thing is waterlogged. It was such a nightmare. So he's out working on that right now. He just took all the seats out and now he's tearing the carpet out. It was, it was bad. It was bad. I have to start laundry. I have to mop my kitchen floors. I have to clean my makeup brushes and I have to vacuum in here. I'm all decorated for Halloween. <laughs> that fucking thing. I'm all decorated for Halloween. I spent all morning editing that video so that video is done and ready to go which it will be up on my channel before this so if you guys want to see me decorate it's on my channel. Yeah that's pretty much it. There's really nothing else going on. It is like true fall weather out right now. It is so nice. I love it. It's like cloudy. It's cold. It's cozy. It's the best. So I think what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go start the laundry. So here we go. Into the black abyss. Oh, I changed the light bulb in my laundry room because if you guys have watched previous vlogs, then you know my laundry room was always really, really dark. So I changed the light bulb so it's a little brighter and uh, we gotta... <laughs> Just when I think I'm starting to get caught up, I get sad and don't wanna do anything again, so. I like to separate my laundry before I put it in the washer. Does anyone else do that? I like to put like the heavy stuff like jeans, sweaters, I like to put that stuff in the bottom and then the smaller stuff I like to put on top. Let me know down below if you guys do that as well. I really need to make my bed because it's just, I just feel like I don't feel like productive or clean unless my bed is made, so we're gonna make my bed. bed is made. Okay, now we can move on to the next thing. All right, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to mop these floors because they need to be cleaned so freaking bad. I also got to clean the dog's water bowl. All right, and then I'm going to get my mop out. So I just use the little like O-Cedar mops and I use hot bleach water. So I just have a container of bleach. I put about a cup, maybe like three-fourths of a cup in there and then fill the rest up with hot water. And that is how I mop my floors. It kills germs, bacteria, it cleans up any messes really easily. Sorry if this footage is really shaky. And I just kind of eyeball it 
just because I've been doing this for so long. I have like insanely hot water in this apartment, so I'm just gonna turn it on as hot as it goes and just fill it up with hot water and then we'll get to mopping. And then I will we'll feel better because my floors won't be gross. Good morning. It is Saturday morning. I think it's the 16th of September today. It is 8.23 in the morning. And I'm gonna go get myself a pumpkin spice latte. I hope it's better than the last one I got because the last pumpkin spice latte I got didn't really taste good. It tasted more spicy, like not in a good way though. I don't know if Big B changed their pumpkin syrup. I have no idea, but yeah, we're gonna try it today. I just really needed some motivation. I was so fucking tired. I have not been sleeping good lately because I've just been, I've been having some weird fucking dreams and they're just like the kind of dreams that are like so vivid, so real and I'm literally waking up like every hour when I have them and it's just not a good time. So I have not been sleeping very good lately and it is a filming weekend today, so I have to get up and get stuff done. And hopefully I get to Big B before the Saturday rush starts because if there's one day that you did not want to work at Big B, it was Saturday mornings because they were so busy. Oh, they're hiring. <laughs> Should I work here again, guys? And I do have Avril in the car with me. I don't know if you can see her, but she is, she's right there. Can you see her? I usually have to bring her for like quick stops in the morning because she has really bad separation anxiety and she will literally scream bloody murder. So I usually have to bring her for, I know we're at Big B. It's your favorite. I usually have to bring her because otherwise she wakes up the whole damn neighborhood. And then Jackal has to stay at home because he always tries to attack the drive through people. So. <laughs> Yeah, happy Saturday. I know you gotta wait patiently, okay? They're very busy. Yeah, I think the last clip you guys saw, we went to Spirit Halloween, the first Spirit Halloween trip of the season. And it was seriously like one of the best Spirit Halloweens I've ever been to. It was so good. It was like fully stocked. They had just opened and they had so much stuff. And then the manager of that location said that they weren't even done putting stuff out. So I was like, I will be back. Do you mind? sit down no no sit down i only got a couple things because you guys i just gotta be honest i don't need any more halloween decorations like i have way more than enough i don't need any more take your pictures at bigby how can i help you this morning hi can i get a 16 ounce hot pumpkin spice latte with an extra shot 16 ounce hot pumpkin spice latte 
anything else? Hot pumpkin spice with an extra shot. Anything else for you? That is it. Sounds great. I will see you at the window. Perfect. Thank you. Hello. Hello. 752, please. Thank you. Ten points for you. Perfect. And eight. Thank you. 48 cents. You guys can keep oh, the change, and that's for you guys oh, also. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Did you want to sleep today? Um. No, that's okay, okay, but can I get a straw? Of course. Perfect. Oh, that's the next one. There you are. Thank you. Yeah, have a good one. Yeah, you too. All right, let's give this a test. Yeah, see, it's different. Hmm. Like, it's not, it's not bad, it's just not, it's not the same from previous years. I'm gonna get a car wash. I'm getting a, just a quick little car wash because at the beginning of this vlog you guys saw me changing my oil well like at the end of me changing my oil like I had to put my plug back on and replace, replace my oil filter and I just want to get like a quick car wash just to rinse off all of the ex extra oil because sometimes when I start my car I can like smell like the debris like the extra oil so I just want to get it like rinsed off and I have some bird shit on my car that I need to <laughs> rinse off too so Hey guys, so excuse the way I look. I did my makeup at like 9 o'clock this morning and it is now 6 o'clock p.m. So it's looking a little bit rough, but it's been several hours. I filmed today. I started editing. I just picked up my living room, got all my Halloween lights plugged in. The rest of the night, I'm probably just going to shower, make something to eat and just continue editing, but I realized I forgot to vlog when I came home from getting a coffee. That's basically what I'm doing. I'm probably gonna go wipe down my kitchen counters for the 18th time today. What is that about being an adult? Every time you clean your house, your kitchen counters always have to be wiped down the most. You guys notice that? It's always the kitchen counters. You wipe them down, you go in there, and it's like they need to be wiped down again. Does anyone, like, what? Do you, do you know what I'm talking about? Does anyone else relate to this or is it just me? I also need to work on taking my nails off. I've had these on for almost two weeks now and they're starting to like lift and grow out a little bit so I need to work on getting these off so I can redo them. I don't know if I'm going to do my Halloween nails yet because we're still in September and I feel like I want to save my Halloween nails for October but I don't know. So, yeah, that's just what I'm doing, listening to the Meatball Podcast with Snooki and Dina from Jersey Shore. So far, it's really good. I really like it. I mean, I did notice Snooki does interrupt Dina quite a bit, like, when they're talking, so that's kind of obnoxious, but, yeah, I'm just listening to that while I clean, so... Okay, that's it. I'll vlog again later in a little bit when I have something to talk about, I guess. Work, filming, writing my... I would love for you to have three. We have like a perfect little thing going on, like four. He's like us four. Like he's like I feel like. That's why this is the best ways to help protect yourself against COVID-19. You can get a COVID-19 shot at the same right idea it could generate. Create the right AI for your business with Watson X. Learn more at IBM.com/slash Watson X. IBM. That's. They were kissing Louie really up to me at a private event. I mean, I'm not into that. I just yeah. want to have fun and like have a nice relationship. Like, they, my housewife, this is not that. But yeah. they get, they get nap, they get hard. Nap. 
Hello guys, good morning. It is, <laughs> it's like a week later. I have not vlogged literally in the last week, but it is again Saturday morning. It is about 9.40 in the morning. I actually woke up at 7.30, but I was not ready to like get, get up, get up yet. So I'm finally up for the day. I have my coffee. So basically over the last week, I've been working on trying to find a new video editor because one of my things that I really wanna do for my channel is I really wanna do like the picture in picture with my editing. Sorry, my dogs are playing. You're gonna have to just ignore that. Where like I'm talking and I can have a picture up in the corner like if I'm reacting to something or I wanna talk about something. I've always wanted to do that for my videos but I've never had like the capability or the knowledge to do that. So I was working on trying to find a new video editor. I think I found one, fingers crossed, um, that I'm probably gonna you know utilize over the next few months and try to teach myself how to use it. So I've been working on that. Then we had Avril's seventh birthday birthday. On Thursday we had Avril's seventh birthday. My beautiful little girl right here is officially seven years old. She's officially considered a senior. I cannot believe she's seven years old. I feel like just yesterday I brought her home and she was only eight weeks old and now she's seven. Quit licking me. Oh my gosh, that's gross. Yuck. We had a very good birthday. We woke up in the morning. We went for a car ride. We, yeah, I know, oh my goodness. And then we took them for a walk on like a little nature trail, which was nice, but also like a nightmare at the same time because the mosquitoes were absolutely ridiculous. And then we came home and we had some birthday cake and we sung happy birthday. And then I've also been dealing with uh, Jackal. He had to go back to the vet yesterday. Uh, I mean, he had to go because he was due for like his exam and blood work and stuff like that. Because of his age, he does go every six months, so he did need like a checkup and blood work and all that stuff, but I did have to take him for another reason. Uh, unfortunately, Jackal has been suffering. This is gonna get a little TMI about my dog's asshole, but uh, my poor dog has been struggling with some diarrhea uh, lately. Started like, I wanna say a couple weeks ago, I noticed his stools were like formed, but really soft. And then I noticed they were getting more and more soft. And then the last couple days, it's just been like full on diarrhea. So I was like, eh, okay, this isn't good. So I had to take him with me to work yesterday, which I was really nervous about because Jackal is not the nicest dog. He's very reactive. He's very fear aggressive. He, you know, so it's, and taking him to the vet, especially by myself, is always a little nerve wracking. I had to take him to work with me yesterday. They did an exam. Um, they did a fecal test. I brought like a sample of his poop in. He doesn't have any parasites. His fecal test was negative, which is good. And they did an exam. They think it's some sort of like GI upset, which I mean, I guess that makes sense. But at the same time, I don't know where he could have possibly gotten one because he had, he doesn't eat human food. He doesn't eat stuff outside. So he has some sort of GI upset. I haven't gotten the results of his blood and urine yet. I'll probably get those on Monday. So they basically just gave me like some Fortiflora uh, probiotic powder to put in his food, which I've been doing that the last week or so and it hasn't really helped. And they also gave me the the Metro, Metro Nindazole. Oh my gosh, I can't. It's like an anti-diarrheal, so he has to take these every 12 hours for the next five days. It's basically just going to help with the diarrhea. Hopefully with an older dog, like Jackal, um, they just, they have to go to the vet more often. So it's really unfortunate and I feel really bad for him. But like, he's seriously, he's the best dog. Honey, come here. Come here, Eddie. You okay, honey? Do you get the poopies? <laughs> you guys, you're so cute, honey. Yeah, you're so cute. He was so good at the vet yesterday. Like, I was so nervous dropping him off. I was like, okay, like, just so you guys know, like, he may bite, you may have to muzzle him. So he was on the vet side, and I was on my side working, because I work in a vet clinic, and they came over to tell me, you know, what was up, how his exam went, to give me his meds, you know, stuff like that, and they were like, yeah, he was really good. And I was like, huh? Like, my dog? Are you sure you're talking about my dog? My dog was good for you guys? Like, I was like, did you have to muzzle him? They were like, no, not at all. Like, he took everything like a champ. He was really sweet. And I was like, my dog? 
my dog is not sweet to strangers. Like, it was so crazy, but he did really good. I was really, really proud of him. He did so good. Yeah, that's basically what I've been working on. And also, of course, just working. But yeah, that's just kind of the recap of what I've been up to the last week. I'm sorry I haven't really been keeping this vlog very consistent. I know there's a bunch of, like, random stuff in this one, but I thought you guys deserved, like, some sort of explanation. But yeah, I'm probably gonna figure out what the heck I'm gonna do today and get to it. I really, it's like, I don't know what to film. I don't know, I don't know. So I guess I'm just gonna go and figure it out and I will probably talk to you guys in the next clip. <laughs> Bye. Hello, so it is now five o'clock at night. I did end up filming today, as you can tell, I have makeup on. It looks crusty dusty right now, but. I did end up filming. I even filmed a couple of shorts. My first ever shorts. Even though they're not really shorts, they're just like videos that are going to be made into shorts, if that makes sense. Like, it's nothing fancy. So I did that today, and then I had time to take a nap, which I'm so excited about. And now I'm going to feed my dogs. I have to give Jackal his probiotic and get him to poop, which hopefully, fingers crossed, he has a normal bowel movement. He's had two rounds of his anti-diarrhea medication, so hopefully today after dinner, he'll have a normal bowel movement. Fingers crossed. Can you squeak in your toy? Oh, angly. So what she does when she gets really excited to eat is she'll grab a toy and just start squeaking it. She's weird. This really hurts my wrist. And then this is the little supplement that my vet gave me. This is just Purina Pro Plan, the Fortiflora Pro. I'm um, just supposed to help even more with diarrhea, so he gets one full packet. And then I just kind of mix it up a little bit in his food. Good stuff. That good, honey? Good boy. Good girl. Excellent. So. That's done, dogs are fed, and then I need to take them poop. And then the rest of the night, I'm literally gonna just be spending doing chores. I'm gonna put my headphones in, pour myself a glass of wine, listen to music, and just start cleaning because <sighs> every time I have a filming day, like everything just goes haywire. Like everything's a mess. I'm gonna give you an update on how my Saturday went. It was very productive. And now, let's do some housework. Jackal just had a normal bowel movement, and my vet just texted me that his blood work and everything looks good. Yes, yes, yes. Good night. Hey guys, happy Sunday. It is Sunday, it is September 24th. It's like 5.30 at night. I just took a shower, and I am now just making some dinner. For dinner, I am making some good old Kraft mac and cheese, because it is just me tonight so I thought and I don't cook anyway I don't like to cook so I was like well I'll just make mac and cheese and that's what I'll have for dinner so that's what I want to make fingers crossed that I can actually do it because I am a 30 year old woman and I always seem to screw up craft mac and cheese why I don't know it's just something that I always do I always somehow find a way to screw up making this but yeah so I'm just waiting for my six cups of water to boil I basically just spent the whole day just chilling watching movies I finished all of my laundry but I was feeling so not motivated today I was just getting the Sunday scaries for the week ahead and I'm just like I don't want to do anything today so I watched um, Megan again for the second time which I liked it a lot more the second time around and then I watched that shark movie called Black Demon. Absolutely hated it. That movie was so bad. It was just so dumb. The only thing good about that movie was the little chihuahua named Toro. And then I think I watched Mama from 2013. I have another very busy week ahead of me, so 
I'm just trying to soak up these last few hours of relaxation before I stumble back into hell. I think that's actually where I'm gonna end this vlog. I think we're pretty much filled up and up to date on everything. I'll probably start another one again very soon. Really hope that you guys did enjoy this vlog. If you did, make sure you go down, give a huge thumbs up, make sure you're subscribed, turn on all notifications, and I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Wish me luck that I don't screw this up. <laughs> Bye!